In this lesson, we'll look at proofs showing that two circles are similar. Here we have two circles, and the task is to prove that the two circles are similar. We know that two figures are similar if one can be obtained from the other by a sequence of reflections, translations, dilations, and rotations, just a sequence of transformations. So what we'll do is we'll see if we can take circle X and transform it into circle Y. Let's first take circle X and move it horizontally directly above circle Y. So we'll have a translation of six units to the left, and that's going to place the circle here. Now we can do a vertical translation of four units and put circle X directly around circle Y. That's going to look like this. The last step is going to be to take circle X and dilate it by a scale factor of one half. And that's going to give us a circle that looks just like circle Y. So as we said earlier, two figures are similar if one can be obtained from the other by a series of reflections, translations, dilations, and rotations. And since circle Y can be obtained from circle X by a sequence of transformations, circle X is similar to circle Y. Now let's take a look at another one. So here again, we have two circles graphed on a coordinate system. They're in different locations and they're different sizes, but the goal is the same, and that is to prove that the two circles are similar to each other. We're going to use the fact, again, that two figures are similar if one of the figures can be obtained from the other by a sequence of transformations. It could be reflections, translations, dilations, or rotations, but if one circle ends up looking exactly like the other, then we know that the two are similar. This time we'll take the smaller circle, circle Y, and we'll translate it over two units until it's directly below the larger circle, which is circle X. So that's one unit, two units. Then we'll do a vertical translation of three units so that circle Y is in the center of circle X, and they have the same midpoint. So we'll take circle Y and we'll go up one, two, three units, and now circle Y is in the center of circle X, and there's only one step left. We need to dilate circle Y so that it fits circle X exactly, and that would mean increasing it by a scale factor of two. And when we do that, the two circles match exactly. And as we said, two figures are similar if one can be obtained from the other by a series of reflections, translations, dilations, and rotations, and we've shown that circle X can be obtained from circle Y by a sequence of transformations. Therefore, circle Y is similar to circle X. And now you know a bit more about how to prove that one circle is similar to another circle. See you next time.